Hey, it's Brian Mudd. Happy Thursday. It's May 3rd. This is my cheat sheet. If online education is something you might be interested in, you might be really interested if it came from a couple of names that previously might have sounded out of reach to you. How about Harvard and MIT? Now you're thinking that's going to be too expensive, right? Get this, and this is not a trick. There are no strings. Harvard and MIT entered into a partnership yesterday to create five free online courses this fall absolutely free. Absolutely free. And so they're putting $30 million into this project combined and there's a really good chance that you should be able to participate. Uh, it looks like they're going to be able to offer this to more than 100,000. I saw a number of 120,000 floating around. So get more information about it. I have the complete information on my physical cheat sheet. I think this is super cool. Um, all right, so Amazon, uh, they have gone where YouTube has said they're going to go and has begun. YouTube started their channels, right? And one of the things they're doing with their channels is creating their own unique content. They've even hired some sitcom folks. They're going to produce their own unique shows. Because remember what I've said about content. Content is king. There are any number, near infinite numbers of providers of somebody else's content. A lot of the Netflixes, the YouTubes, the even Amazon Prime, Apple, all that, right? It's only special if you create it and it's something that's popular. And so that's where it's all going. So will the future of television look more like YouTube and Amazon Studios than it does, say, CBS and ABC? The odds are probably yes. And here's where you come in. This is cool. Amazon Studios, right? So they're going to start up their new studios project, which is just as it sounds, uh, a TV studio production company. Of course, though, they're going to use it through their online television service, Amazon Prime. So here's what they're looking for. Skits. They're looking for sitcom ideas. They're looking for shows, period. If you have a really cool idea that you think they should consider, submit it to them. If they take it into consideration, you get paid $10,000 just for consideration. If they decide they're going to produce your show idea, you get $55,000 up front. Not a huge sum, but hey, 55 k is not a bad day, especially if Hollywood never would never even take your phone call. And you can get royalty fees on the shows being played themselves. So this could be a cool thing. Here's the other deal. They're also looking for writers for some of their unique shows. These positions, these full-time positions, are going to start out at $33,000 with Amazon. So check out my physical cheat sheet for that as well. If you're interested in knowing how to submit your script idea, if you want to apply for one of these writer positions, a whole bunch of things that are changing. And YouTube and Amazon are kind of leading the way in the uh, streaming uh, content creation that's going on right now. Um, now, here's another one. Xbox 360 with the Kinect. The previous best deal you can get out there in this bundle is $299. So starting next week, you're going to be able to get it for $99. So don't buy it this week. That's the number one. But here's the thing. What they're actually doing, Amazon has their, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Xbox has their Xbox Live platform, their online play system. Well, if you get a two-year subscription, if you commit to a two-year su subscription, that's what's going to enable you to get Microsoft with the Kinect for $99 versus the $299. They're taking it to that model that we've been familiar with with our mobile devices to where we get a highly discounted rate on the uh, phone or the tablet itself with that two-year contract. So if you're into it, wait until next week. Get it for 99 bucks. And Amazon was kicked out of Target by Apple. Remember how Amazon's had their Kindles offered in Target, which has been a huge driver for them because people who were somewhat uncomfortable with the idea of an e-reader were able to see it, feel it, touch it in Target and go, oh, you know what? This might be kind of cool. Well, it's going away. Amazon is going to have their Kindles phased out in Target stores. Now, Target said that they just reviewed their products as a natural course of business and they decided that this was a product they needed to phase out. Don't believe that for a second. Target did perfectly well with the, the Kindle. What really happened? Apple signed a partnership with Target to create 25 mini Apple stores in Target later this year. Now nobody's talking about what's going on there, but you know dang well what happened. Apple said, you want us? You aren't selling their stuff. Period. So what really is going on is that Apple is kicking the Kindle and Amazon's products out of Target before they launch their mini stores in Target. Uh, and Zillow, by the way, uh, you know how you can get your Zestimate, the prices, the listings, all that? And they even have added in recent years the rent estimate for a particular property. It looks like they're going to make a bigger play 
in the landlord business going forward. Remember, rentals are uh, near an all-time high. Home ownership is actually at a 15-year low right now. Well, Zillow is actually, uh, they just bought a small software company that provides software services to landlords. So look for Zillow's next effort to make a big effort towards those landlords uh, that have multiple rental properties and helping service them. That is the cheat sheet for today. Enjoy yours. We will see you tomorrow.